What if one morning you woke up to discover that your bank account had been credited with an additional $2,500? It sounds fantastical, doesn't it? Well, this is about to happen for millions of seniors in Canada who are 65 years of age and older. You did indeed hear it right. A groundbreaking move by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau will greatly improve our senior people financial security. This isn't simply another government statement you're going to get actual money. If you or a loved one is a senior, this news has the potential to significantly alter your life. Seniors will start receiving an extra $1,400 tomorrow in addition to their old age security or OAS benefits and an additional $1,100 from the Canada Pension Plan or CPP. This is a significant boost meant to enhance our elders' quality of life, not merely a stopgap solution. Imagine how much easier it would be to enjoy your retirement years with a little extra cash and not have to worry as much about growing living expenses or medical expenditures. With this decision, Canada has demonstrated its commitment to providing its senior people with the financial support they need, marking a turning point in that commitment. However, why now? Why was the benefits rise so abrupt? How will it be implemented too? We're here to answer all of your questions because there are a ton of them. So please join us as we explore this historic announcement specifics. You won't want to overlook any information regarding the potential effects this may have on you or your family. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel before we go into the specifics. To ensure that you don't miss any updates regarding this and other crucial financial news, press the notification bell. A pillar of Canadian social policy has long been the country's dedication to its senior citizens, but recent events have elevated this commitment to never-before-seen heights. A historic increase in financial assistance for individuals 65 and older has been made possible by the decision to provide an additional $1,400 on top of old age security or OAS payments and an additional $1,100 from the Canada Pension Plan or CPP. This choice involves more than simply math, it also involves identifying and resolving the particular difficulties that today's seniors encounter. This ruling has a complex background. In recent years, there has been a growing recognition of the financial challenges faced by several elderly individuals. The rising cost of basic products and healthcare are two major reasons why seniors on fixed income sometimes struggle to make ends meet. The fact that many seniors are living longer, which means their retirement resources must go farther than ever before, adds to this financial strain. In an effort to offer both short-term and long-term comfort, this new financial boost is a direct response to these circumstances. The $1,100 from the CPP and the extra $1,400 from the OAS will be distributed in a methodical way to guarantee that all seniors who qualify for them get their money quickly and effectively. As with the current OAS and CPP payments, the implementation will entail direct installments into bank accounts, guaranteeing recipients the least amount of inconvenience and the greatest amount of ease. The government's dedication to ensuring a seamless process is demonstrated by its seamless integration with the current payment systems. The daily lives of seniors will be significantly impacted by this financial rise. For many, this extra cash will mean the difference between having a comfortable buffer and struggling to meet their bills. It can lessen the strain brought on by unforeseen costs like house repairs or medical problems. Additionally, having this additional financial cushion can allow seniors to live out their years to the fullest, whether that means taking up new hobbies, traveling, or just enjoying the peace of mind that comes with it. Consider an elderly couple who are on a meager pension. They may be now delaying needed house repairs or cutting back on groceries to pay for prescription drugs. They could maintain a better diet, save a little for a special occasion or trip, and keep up with home maintenance with the extra $2,500 a year. This enhances their general happiness and well-being in addition to raising their quality of life. It's also important to consider this decision's wider economic effects. Local economies are probably going to benefit from millions of seniors having more discretionary income. Seniors will have more money to spend on products and services, boosting local companies and the economy as a whole. This financial infusion has the potential to stimulate the economy overall, in addition to helping the elderly population. Think about the nearby companies who stand to gain from this additional investment. Local pharmacies, entertainment venues, home repair services, and small grocery stores are just a few examples of businesses that can notice an increase in sales. As a result, jobs may need to be created because these companies may need to hire more employees to handle the growing demand. Thus, this financial boost can have a far-reaching influence beyond the immediate recipients, promoting stability and economic progress in local communities across the nation. The initiative's provision of psychological and emotional relief is another important feature. Reducing financial stress can enhance mental health and general well-being. Financial stress is a heavy load.
Seniors who do not worry about money all the time are probably going to have better physical and mental health results. Seniors with higher quality of life have the potential to be more engaged and active members of their communities, able to make a variety of significant contributions. An ongoing source of anxiety for a lot of seniors is financial uncertainty. It may have an impact on their relationships, sleep quality, and general attitude on life. This program can help reduce these worries by giving seniors a steady income boost, enabling them to have more of a stress-free and contented retirement. Their lives and the lives of others around them may be further enhanced by the increased social interaction, involvement in neighborhood events, and even volunteerism that may result from this. Seniors' lives are greatly impacted by the assistance of their families and communities. Seniors may be in a better position to make contributions to their family and communities with the extra financial support from the OAs and CPP increases. The financial security these boosts provide can help elders be more engaged and give back, whether it's by helping with grandchildren, attending community activities, or even contributing to local organizations. If a grandparent gets this extra support, they could be able to contribute to their grandchild's extracurricular or educational expenses. Additionally, they might have the resources to take part more actively in social events and family get-togethers, which would improve the lives of others around them. Mutual assistance improves community cohesion and familial ties, making the atmosphere more welcoming and encouraging for all. Seniors are living longer than ever before as life expectancy keeps rising. Although this is a good thing, it also means that retirement benefits and savings will need to last longer. By offering a more substantial financial cushion that can assist seniors throughout their prolonged retirement years, the enhanced OAs and CPP benefits help solve this difficulty. For many seniors, health care bills are a major source of concern. People frequently experience higher medical costs as they become older, whether it's for ongoing treatments, prescription drugs, or routine care. Seniors can better manage these expenses with the extra financial assistance, ensuring they can get the care they require without experiencing excessive financial hardship. Seniors who prioritize their health and well-being may experience improved health outcomes and a higher quality of life. Being financially independent is essential to preserving one's dignity and respect for oneself. The independence and self-worth of many seniors are strongly correlated with their capacity for financial management. Seniors may be better equipped to make confident financial decisions for themselves with the extra help that the OAS and CPP increases can offer. Additionally, having financial independence might lessen the need for financial help from family members, relieving the strain on younger generations and preserving the dignity of the elderly. It gives individuals the ability to make decisions about where to live, what to do for fun, and how to take care of their health care that are most suited to their requirements and preferences. Retaining a good mindset and a high standard of living in retirement requires this autonomy. It's critical to understand that living expenses can fluctuate dramatically amongst Canadian locations. Compared to seniors living in rural areas, seniors in metropolitan areas may experience different financial issues due to the greater cost of housing and other expenses. The goal of the increased funding is to level the playing field and assist seniors nationwide in better managing their spending. The additional OAS and CPP benefits can assist seniors in high-cost areas with meeting their increased housing, transportation, and health care costs. The additional funding can assist seniors in getting the care and support they require in remote locations where services may be less accessible and travel expenses may be greater. The funding increase guarantees that all seniors, regardless of where they reside, receive the resources they require to live comfortably by eliminating these regional discrepancies. An important step that will benefit Canada's elderly population greatly is the decision to raise OAS and CPP pay payouts. It meets seniors' immediate financial needs, boosts regional economies, upholds social ideals, and enhances their general quality of life. This effort is about more than simply money. It's about dignity, respect, and the welfare of a significant portion of our community. It is evident that Canada's commitment to its older citizens is stronger than ever as we await the execution of this judgment. We are creating a culture that honors and cares for its senior citizens by making sure they get the assistance and respect they need. This boost in funding is a step in the direction of a more promising and safe future.